Beep, beep, YouTube. <clears throat> it's time for some entertainment news. Okay, so we were a little bit worried about this one, but it looks like the latest adaptation of Stephen King's It is set to be a box office smash, getting rave reviews from just about everybody. After the failure of The Dark Tower and multiple recent failed remakes of old movies, it's good to see that It is primed for success. Derp and myself will be viewing it tomorrow, and we shall have a review for you very soon, and we'll let you know whether it lives up to the hype. Back in June, Microsoft announced that Killer Instinct would be coming to Steam. Ultra Combo! And this week we've been told the Steam version will also support cross-play with Windows 10 PC and Xbox One players. We still don't know when Killer Instinct will arrive on Steam and what sort of price point will be available at. Here's hoping for a discount for the long wait. But it should be with us within the coming weeks. Personally, I can't wait. Ooh, I do love a controversy, and you can always rely on South Park to deliver. Ubisoft's upcoming South Park game, The Fractured But Whole, has made gaming headlines this week when they revealed that the darker your character's skin, the harder the game will be. Choosing to play a black character will result in less cash rewards and people of the world may take a dislike to you. As you select your race, Cartman assures you, don't worry, it doesn't affect combat, just every other aspect of your life. I was wondering how they were going to top the Nazi zombie fetus from the first game. I guess now I know. Developer Turn 10 is celebrating Forza Motorsport 7 going gold by offering a demo later this month. If you wish to take Forza 7 for a spin before driving cash over it, you can grab the demo on September the 19th on Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. The demo will have three tracks and three cars to try out, along with car assist to personalise your driving style and experience. Forza 7 releases on October 3rd, for those who have purchased the Ultimate Edition we will be able to jump in on September the 29th. With Project Cars 2 around the corner, followed by Gran Turismo Sport in October, it's going to be a good race to see who takes pole position on the podium for Racing Games of 2017. Destiny 2 launched earlier this week on Xbox One and PS4, and by all accounts is a massive improvement on the original game. That is except for the plague of microtransactions that seem to infest all AAA games nowadays. It seems Activision have taken corporate greed to a brand new level though by charging for single-use shaders, thus understandably angering the Destiny player base. For those of you unfamiliar with what these items are, they're basically dice for your gear. Now in the original game, once you had a shader, it was yours to keep. Now once you use it, you'll have to repurchase. But wait, it gets better. You can only die individual armor pieces, so dying a whole set may cost you a pretty penny. And to top it off, they're gained from loot boxes, so RNG will dictate whether or not you get the shader you actually want for your money. Have AAA publishers finally gone too far? Let us know in the comments. Ebb Studios has shown off a 7 minute trailer for their new game Squarum, an atmospheric first person horror game, which is now on Kickstarter and already received over half of its pledge in just a few days. This game looks to have taken a huge inspiration from H.R. Giger's work and brought the nightmarish hellish visuals for all to experience the game. The developer says this open-ended world is lived in and that the game narrative unfolds in-game without the use of cutscenes. The game looks cray cray and definitely caught my eye. Head over to Kickstarter if this game interests you and if you wish to support the developer. The link will be in the description below. And that's this week's entertainment news and we will see you next time.